Hi, I'm here with Kalyan Kumar, the Global Chief Technology Officer and Head of Ecosystems at HCL Tech and the Chief Product Officer for HCL Software. We're here at Davos and we're going to be discussing uh, the key technology trends for 2024. KK, how are you doing? Good. It's been an extremely good start to the year. And now to break down the 10 tech trends that HCL Tech's Enterprise Technology Office conducted based on research things are going to define 2024 let's start with ai it's always in the public conversation nowadays they predicted that there'll be a trifecta of rapid advancements in mm -hmm. ethical ai generative ai and machine learning can you break down that trend for us please so in our trends report if you read we have this uh, two tags we say happening hype and daring disruptor Correct? we consistently keep talking about that ethical ai is becoming mainstream because if you're using AI to generate decisions, we are impacting society, businesses, workflows. We better have that piece extremely important. Gen AI is disrupting. It's one of the, I think after HTML, this is one technology which has caught pace at like internet speed, correct? It's, it's the way HTML transform browser, Gen AI is transforming the way you interact. So I think these two, uh, amazingly an important uh, piece for us to keep a watch on. Yeah, it, it, it's the pace of, a, of, of adoption that's really kind of taken the world by storm. So on to the next one, which is 5G and the rise of wireless, secure and private networks. Mm -hmm. What's that trend about? We've talked about 5G for a while now and it's time to monetize it, but, you know, organizations are struggling to. You know, I think private 5G, building everything on your own, is for a very limited set of use cases. I think private 5G delivered by an operator on network slicing is going to be more and more realistic. Now, where I think the real game plan is this whole convergence of fixed and wireless access. See, at homes, so you're starting to see Wi-Fi calling, uh, 5G and Wi-Fi 6 interoperability, convergence of fixed and wireless access. That's going to be a very, very important daring disruptor. I think that, that, that's really applicable today. Okay, and moving on to the next one, digital reality, the bridging of fidget, fi physical and digital mm -hmm. um, with metaverse and XR technology. What, what's happening there this year? So I think the metaverse, the hype has really settled down. People are looking at how do you do XR in a more immersive way. I think merging, merging spatial computing, merging of uh, different virtual mixed reality is it's happening more and more applicable in consumer side and also in the B2B aspect. Uh, I think the real value is, I think, is going to be in XR is you are able to mix in real time different contact mashup. And I think spatial computing will will start to give us some of those uh, ability. Okay. And on to cloud. What are the trends with cloud this year, specifically around data sovereignty, sovereign clouds and confidential computing? So the happening hype here is confidential computing because you're not going to roll back everything on what you're doing on cloud. Cloud is going to be, it's, it's here to stay for a long time. But how do you bring confidential computing baked into, because trust becomes extremely important. The second most important thing is because uh, this whole aspect of the three laws, when I was having a chat with Pat Jelsinger, the Intel CEO, and you're saying, there is laws of physics, there is laws of economics, and there is laws of land. And I think these three are going to drive the way AI, cloud, the whole piece is going to evolve. And that's where I think the sovereign cloud, sovereignty, data sovereignty, data, every country is coming up with very various implementation of data protection and privacy. I think the world is moving away from attention grabbing to permission based. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the shift that is going to happen here. Absolutely. And so you mentioned sustainability in your kind of decade defining trends. What specifically has the ETO office identified for sustainability for this year? See, sustainability is beyond tech. Tech enables sustainability. It has to be thought through end to end in every aspect which we do, correct? Because these are aspects which we need to factor in because these are some of them are irreversible actions. The first thing which I'm seeing is that green IT is becoming real. People have to think holistically because we've now overtaken many industries as the largest emitter of carbon. So we will have to become more sustainable. I give an example of prompts unnecessary too much of use of prompts. I think sometimes you have to reuse the technology that I do to bring that awareness. Decarbonization and all with some of this recent announcements in COP28 is going to really move away from the way of how, what can you really do to decarbonize in, in a real sense. It's not about 
you you're trying to do a tax and uh, cap and other aspect but it's about really doing things to really decarbonize so i think those two things are going to be important and technology is going to play a big role in this okay and on to your one of your favorite trends quantum and specifically around security what's going to happen in the next one or two years maybe not this year but 2025 so quantum cryptography is starting to see the light of the day. We're running some pilots, trials with customers and with the telcos and with some gun bodies and in terms of how do you really want to do that. I think the big, first use case of quantum, you'll just see the story happening is around annealing, optimization, but around quantum machine learning. These are the two big patterns. This technology will still take some time to evolve into commercial grid. It will be delivered on an as-a-service model. But I think we are seeing some positive trends in the right direction. That's great. And on to my personal favorite of this year's trend, bioengineering. What's yep. happening in that space? It's amazing that uh, the ability to... See, human body, people, if you, if, you, if you... What we are discovering is that we are a very complex computing system. DNA is one of the most complex data engineering discipline which, which, which has existed for millions of years, correct? Uh, artificial intelligence, Gen AI, they are trying to replicate the complex neuron wirings which we have in the human brain. So I think organ on chip is something which is becoming a, a, a theme. Genome editing which will really lead into truly hyper-personalized medicine. Just like you're going to move towards marketing to become segment of one, medicine will move towards the evolution of genomics and understanding of impact with the impact of one. Yeah, it will cause the ne potentially the next evolution in, in terms of us as humans. On to blockchain and the rise of decentralization and asset tokenization. What's happening? I think demystifying and completely differentiating the technology, which is blockchain versus crypto. I think it's extremely important. And I think that's that's the differentiation. Blockchain is a technology. I think using things around NFT, digital assets, digital identity, and 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 now especially government is considering like India Stack is considering building a digital public infrastructure with blockchain, mm. just like they've done for identity and payments and other aspects. So that's where you are able to take it to masses. Then obviously you need to build applications on top of the core technology. I think crypto needs a little bit of more responsible and compliant. I think the it's it's a very it's an oxymoronic situation that the whole idea of crypto is I don't want to be regulated, but self regulation. But I think this situation is happening. There's some level of balance which needs to be brought in so that's going to be interesting at, as part of the whole trust rebuilding mechanism yeah okay and the penultimate trend the internet of behavior i actually haven't heard of it before so what's that about and how it's is how is it going to impact 2024 see this is all about going back to the individual the human behaviors of how people behave respond to interactions uh, scenarios situations uh, is where because as we become more digital the reality gets more mixed up how do you track the life cycle of a behavior so hence examples are moving from permission moving from attention based marketing to permission based marketing bringing context we believe that the internet of behavior will be powered by something called a segment of one and it's a software as a technology which allows you to segment a campaign or an offering to an individual using cdb at the core that's where the behavior will change because you understand human behavior, intent, time of day, day of week, so many aspects. Learning the 360 degree profile, but do it in a very responsible, ethical, and in a sovereign data governed way. That's going to be intra behavior is going to be a very important thing because all our behavior patterns are in, in the social footprint now. Yeah. So how do you make sure you're using it responsibility for uh, the customer? Absolutely. And and the final trend, the rise of machines, advanced robots. You know, robots has been existent for the time humanity uh, started to evolve uh, because we always had some kind of this thing. If you remember the Trojan horse mm. uh, during the Greek mythology, hey, that was the first kind of a robot. Correct? You hit people inside, big this thing. So robotics has always evolved. Right? I think robots exist to take away a lot of either high risk, high or repeated complexity, repeated activity work or anything where human could uh, act like an extension. So I think the whole uh, aspect of ability to get uh, 
musculoskeletal assisted robotic systems where it can improve the ability for the worker to be able to do things with, with an injury free way or avoiding risk improving efficiency taking away monday was autonomous robotics is going to happen but there's a big opportunity or the big reality current in our semi autonomous mm-hmm. it's like assisted co assisted so think of robot co pilots yeah. like you could already have on co pilots in the generative ai software or in the assistant side you could start to really look at this